What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So, somewhat surprisingly today, Apple just dropped iOS 17.4 Beta 1 re-release. That's right, you heard it. It is not Beta 2 like we were hoping to get. This is actually a re-release from the initial 17.4 Beta 1 from the week prior. This is something of a surprise. Usually we see those subsequent beta releases come in subsequent weeks, right? So for Apple to re-release this and bundle it together with the public developer preview, kind of surprising. Not sure what's going to be changed in here. I am very curious to take a look at the build number, though. For those of you that follow along, you know this had, I believe, an I build number prior. I want to see if this made any improvement or if it kind of devolved and went the wrong way on the scale here. Let's go ahead, jump into this take a quick look and see if anything really stands out. This is gonna be a short, quick video for you guys today. Let's get right into it. Okay, so iOS 17.4 beta one re-release, just finished installing. Let's go ahead and do our typical check here. And you can see it's actually significantly lower than what we saw in the initial beta one release. There we go, we got a little spike there over 100. Uh, 108. Okay, so it's still building up from that update. But having said that, we know how the heat signatures go on iPhones, unfortunately. So we're not going to drill on that. But really quick to backtrack, if you missed our initial video on the 17.4 release, basically this is huge for the international markets in the EU. It introduces side loading thanks to the Digital Markets Act that Apple really opposed for years. But here we are. Now Apple is allowing side loading of apps and a whole bunch of changes not directly related to the United States. So let's go ahead and jump into settings, general, about, and as you can see, okay, so here we go. We do have a K build number, which is somewhat surprising. So as you can see, the full number is 21E5184K. So K is really lower in the alphabet than what you wanna see. And as you can tell from here, it was originally an I build from last week. So this did go in the wrong direction, which does not impose a lot of confidence in where Apple feels iOS 17.4 is currently. Yes, they released the public version of this in the same build, but keep in mind, again, this is still a beta and you might be experiencing more issues than what you typically would. Um, aside from that, we really didn't experience many issues with the first beta that came out. The actual phone was operating pretty well. We did see some dropped frames from time to time, not uncommon with uh, beta builds that we've seen, but everything worked. Battery life wasn't horrible. Everything kind of operated as you would hope. And as you can see here, it's, I mean, operating pretty, pretty smoothly. No issues at all. So I'm not sure what happened to cause the re-release, but here we are nonetheless. No new splash screen here is coming up. One thing that I do want to call out that we did notice in our watchOS 10.4 video is under gestures now, we do have that new option to ignore double tap when using Vision Pro. So with this enabled, it'll actually let you basically disable double tap, tap only when Vision Pro is working, something we didn't think about, but that will come in handy for all those Apple Watch users and Vision Pro users to enable no extra feedback taps. Aside from that, guys, this update did come in at about, I think it was about 431 megabytes. So on the smaller end from what the initial build was. But again, keep in mind, this might have a substantial amount of bugs since this is now a K build. It is very rare we see that. Let's check the feedback app. Usually it's not updated timely. Um, and as you can see here, this still is not updated. We just have the release notes from watchOS and all that. So no new notes here to see what was fixed. But in the original beta, as we called out, there was a ton of known issues here. So that is what this is here to hopefully help resolve. That's it for this one, guys. Again, quick, short video. Thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you in the next one, hopefully with beta two next week. Peace.